one of the things that I always require of new clients that I, who I work with is we need to be clear on who your larger, more profitable three or four competitors are mm -hmm. who are eating your lunch every day. And when people, and I've had people say, well, I don't have competitors. No, you have competitors. You think you don't, but you do. It's the yeah. fool who, it's the fool who thinks they don't have competitors. Yeah. Mike, yeah. Mike Tyson was at the top of his game and he was scary to watch, but the minute he let it slide, he had a competitor who came out of nowhere and literally knocked him on his ass, literally. Mm -hmm. And then what happened to his competitor? He disappeared. Mm -hmm. Disappeared. And that's all it really takes, really. One shot, and that was it. That competitor knocked him on his ass and ruined his game and messed with his head for quite some time. And mm -hmm. I still, I still love Iron Mike. I'm still a fight fan. I still would never, ever, ever want to face him in a million years, even with an Uzi. But he lost that one time. That was all it took. And that was his hubris, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Was thinking that his game was so strong that no one could top it. Oh, well, This guy got a hunger that you don't have anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was willing to trade what he was in order to become what he wanted to become. And that's a huge concept for a lot of uh, small business owners that if you're willing to, what are you willing to trade in order to become what you say you want to become? And are you ready for that? Mm -hmm. 